It's a dream of a man. You know, it makes me wonder, you know, as little kids, we used to sing, row, row, row your boat, life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. What a weird thing for kids to sing. I mean, was that like a Hindu song? You know, life is but a dream, row down the, whoa. Whose dream? According to Eastern thought, it's the dream of the Brahmin, the God. That everything is a dream. Now, the Bible speaks of creation and God. And that creation is the, in Greek, the poema of God. We get the word poem from that. It's a very beautiful thing. That this world is the work of God, it's the poem of God. But there's a big difference between a poem or a work and a dream. See, one who, one who, makes, a, one who makes a poem or a work is awake. The one who's dreaming is sleeping. Elijah was on Mount Carmel and he was standing face to face with paganism and he said, when the prophets of Baal called out to Baal and nothing happened, he said, what's the matter? Is your God sleeping? Is he on vacation? Is he indisposed? What's going on? Well, according to Eastern thought, God is sleeping. Because when you're sleeping, you're kind of lost. So according to the faith, actually, God, according to this faith, is lost. Because he's an illusion and everyone in it, everyone in the world is God, not knowing that everyone is God. That God is out of touch with reality, but then again, he's supposed to be reality. How can he be out of touch with himself? That's the point. The universe, this is the heart of it all. The world, that's where you get the concept, you might hear sometimes, a, they, they call it maya. That means that it's all the illusion. Everything's an illusion. It's unreal. All the world is an illusion, a pulsation, an illusion of God. The idea, according to Eastern thought, that we are different people is an illusion, according to this. That's why the Beatles can sing, I am he as you are he as you are me and we are all together, cuckoo in that song. Because it's all selfhood, that in other words, the, with the, the, the ideal of it, you get how it goes together. In other words, who is deceived? God is deceived. He deceived himself. Because there's nothing else but God. There's no thing, everything else. And that's why they can't eat cows. Because that also is part of God and it's been reincarnated according to them. It could be their grandmother. So they don't touch it. So what is salvation in the Eastern way? In the New Age? Ultimately it's about God waking up and saying, oh, I'm God. That a person says, we, I'm God. And we're all one. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA.